Wednesday Massage Begin by lying down on your back with your knees bent and your feet standing. Shake your head right and left and come to rest at the center of the back of the skull. Lift and lower each shoulder blade and shimmy the hips to come to rest on the sacrum. Press into the feet equally, curling the tailbone up towards the knees and roll up the sacrum and up the low spine. Take the massage balls, one in each hand, and place them underneath the hip bones on the outer area of the pelvis, and then lower back down into pressure. Use your four count breath in and five count breath out to soften into the pressure. Bring the palms face down to support movement. Now take a baby step forward with the left foot. Baby flap the left knee in toward the midline and then out away from the midline. As the knee moves out away from the midline, you roll onto the pinky toe side of the foot. See if you can link the movement with the breath, inhaling as you draw the knee in toward the center and exhaling as it lowers. Now take another baby step forward and begin to flap the knee again. Notice the change in trajectory and in sensation. Inhale the knee back up and baby step back. Press into both feet and take the balls out. Lower back down to rest against the sacrum and notice the difference between one side and the other. When you're ready, press into the feet equally. This time, keep the left foot standing and baby step forward with the right. Flop the right knee in toward the midline and out toward the floor. Linking the breath and the movement. and then take another baby step. Continue to flap the knee. Press into the feet equally and take the balls out from under. Roll back down the spine and rest against the sacrum, taking a moment to notice. When you are ready, press into the feet, lifting the pelvis and replace the balls underneath the hip bones. Then lower the pelvis down to come into pressure. Now press into the left foot, which lifts the left hip and pinpoints the right gluteal muscle. Then release and come back to equal pressure. Now press into the right foot which lifts the right hip and pinpoints the left gluteal muscle. This is called rock your boat because the pelvis resembles a boat rocking on the ocean each time it rocks, pinpointing the muscle deeply. When you've finished, press into the feet equally, lifting the pelvis, take the balls out from under, and then roll back down the spine to rest against the sacrum. Now bring both massage balls to the sits bones at the bottom of your bum. Wedge the balls in underneath the flesh of the buttocks and hold them in place as you straighten one leg at a time along the floor. And then slide the legs wide. Now begin a windshield wiper movement with one leg at a time, drawing the toe in toward the midline and then releasing it out so that the foot looks like a windshield wiper. Continue doing this movement. Follow any internal cues and make micro adjustments with the balls. Use your breath.
When you have finished, notice the flood of energy moving up the legs. Place the feet in standing and remove the balls. Now press into the feet and roll up the sacrum and up the spine. Place the balls underneath the belly button on either side of the spine and then lower the pelvis back down to create pressure. Use your four count breath in and five count breath out to soften into the pressure. Inhale and heel toe the feet wide and then exhale allowing the left knee down across the midline. Breathe deeply into the increased pressure on the right side. Inhale back up and exhale the right knee down, feeling the increased pressure on the left side. Continue this movement and find a nice flow of movement and breath. Inhale back up to center and heel toe the feet back to parallel. Place your hands down to support movement. Press into the feet and peel the tailbone away from the floor until the sacrum is parallel to the floor, which pinpoints the muscles and increases the pressure. At this time your hips should be level and lifted. Now lower the left hip bone only toward the floor, keeping the right one lifted. And then press back into the left foot, lifting the left hip bone back to square. Lower the right hip bone toward the floor. And then press into the right foot to lift the right hip bone back to square. Continue to do this movement, merging it with your breath. When you are finished, press into both feet. Take the balls out from under and roll back down the spine one vertebra at a time. Then take the legs down one at a time, lengthening them against the floor. For the next three exercises, we will be using a strap to facilitate the stretch. Take your strap and have it handy. To place the massage balls, lift the chin toward the chest and then press the massage balls underneath the trapezius on either side of the spine. Lower your head back down to come into pressure. Make any adjustments to find comfort. Now take your strap and send your arms to the sky, stacking the joints. Then allow a light grip to slide into an open position about mat distance apart. Inhale the arms up towards the ears and then take the arms side to side in an arc motion as though you were designing a rainbow over your head. Allow your nose to move in the direction that the arms are moving, involving the muscles of the neck. When you're done, inhale back up to center and bring the arms back to parallel. Now draw the strap over the chest, stacking the joints from the shoulders to the elbows to the wrists. Drop the shoulder blades back toward the floor. Now we're going to begin an isometric contraction, a pulse. Imagine trying to tear the strap in half and then release. Feeling the muscles of the shoulders engage up against the balls. Coming to a still point, now slide the hands wide on the strap once more. Sense the shoulder blades and the change in position. Tilt the left arm up 
and the right arm down, and then switch, creating an X over your chest. Continue this movement. Soften into your back ribs, and then come back to center. Take the strap off to the side, and then shimmy the shoulders to disperse the energy. Place your hands on your belly. Take a moment to feel the rise and fall of your breath. 